Many versions of things have historically proven to be pretty popular. The iPod mini, mini muffins, mini me. But a new one called mini LED could have a big time effect on the way we watch TV or use our computers. But before we go any further, you guys gotta know that mini LED is not the same thing as micro LED. They are completely separate. Micro is also cool and you can learn more about it right up here. But mini is the one that you might actually be able to get your hands on for an affordable price in the near future. As for why it matters, well, it first helps to understand how it relates to other kinds of TV technology. If you've ever been to a big box store and seen how striking OLED TVs are next to non-OLED models, the difference is due to the fact that OLEDs have a very high contrast ratio because individual pixels can be turned completely off, producing deep blacks without light bleed from nearby bright objects. Non-OLED TVs, on the other hand, rely on backlighting that is always turned on. To create images then, an LCD layer in front of the backlight selectively blocks the light in different areas of the screen, but it can't block the light completely, meaning that blacks can end up looking closer to gray. To improve this, LCDs use a trick to improve their contrast called local dimming. The idea is that the backlight can selectively dim or even switch off in certain areas of a screen where the image is dark or black, and local dimming can definitely help but it is far from a perfect solution. You see, TVs that have this feature typically have their backlight split into zones that dim or turn off as a group. But for the effect to work well, you need lots and lots of zones, which means lots of LEDs adding cost, heat, and power consumption. That's where mini LEDs come in. Thanks to some recent technological advances, LEDs have not only become more efficient, but also smaller, which is exactly the idea behind a mini LED display. Mini LEDs are often less than a tenth of a millimeter across, meaning that you can fit many more of them in the backlight layer of a TV, allowing much smaller zones of lighting control. To put this in context, a traditional local dimming TV from the last couple of years might have dozens or maybe a few hundreds of zones, while these recently released mini LED displays from ASUS and TCL have about one thousand individual zones. This should help them do a much better job of preventing that blooming effect that you sometimes see with local dimming where bright objects in a dark scene have this aura or halo glowing around them because the zone that's lighting the bright object is simply too large to be confined to the area where it's supposed to be. Of course, mini LED is a newer technology right now so you can expect to pay more for it but it's well positioned to be more affordable than OLED, especially after the early adopter tax wears off. And with micro LED being quite a ways off from hitting the mass consumer market due to high costs and manufacturing complexity, mini LED looks to be an appealing option to tide us over until then. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to go to Tim Hortons because I've got a sudden hankering for some mini donuts. Actually, I'm not going anywhere because I gotta tell you about our sponsor. Displate is a magnet mounted metal print that's durable and doesn't require any power tools to hang it. They've got over 260,000 different art spanning a bunch of styles and influences. And with their easy magnetic mounting, you've got no holes in your wall and they're easily replaceable. They've got official Cyberpunk 2077 prints and you can even buy one with a picture of me if you're into that. So go check out Displate. They plant a tree for every Displate purchased and you can use code LTT to save 15% through the link in the video description. So thanks for watching guys, like, dislike, check out our other videos, and leave a comment if you have a suggestion for a future fast as possible. I might even do the whole thing instead of leaving out a word like I did a second ago. Bet you didn't even notice. Don't forget to subscribe by the way.